Hello, I'm Terry Harrison. I'm going to share with you a few top tips for acrylics. I'm going to paint the same tree in four different seasons. So we're going to start with spring. I've prepared the canvas, painted the sky in first, and some colours, some light greens in the foreground. So I'm going to start with some trees at the back of this field. I'm going to paint the large tree in the centre. So I'm going to start with some cobalt blue, a touch of pale olive green, and a little bit of white. So it's a light, lightish colour, but just drag that down like so. This is with the, the fan stippler. So just pull that down. So most of this is going to be covered with the tree. I just need to paint something in the background first. So there's the, the shape of the trees. Then with the half rigger, slightly stronger mix of the same colour. Just put the hint of a few tree trunks and branches. Still with that bluey green. That goes up to the top of the tree like that. So hardly any detail at all. Brush the brush out, then go back to the fan stippler, squeeze the water out of the brush, and a light colour this time, pale olive green and some white. And the sunlight's coming through from the left, so just lightly dust this spring green over the top of those trees in the background. Now for the main tree, just get rid of all that white, squeeze the water out of the brush so it's fairly dry. A dark green, this is um, hooker's green, touch of ultramarine, push the brush into the paper and we'll start with the centre, with some ivy climbing up the tree, like that. Some grasses underneath, so flick up, this is the hedgerow. Go back to that light green, let's put that into there. Going back to this bluey green again, cobalt blue, pale olive green, and just start with a slightly darker colour at the top of the tree, like this. Bring that down. So there's the, the shape of the tree. Then with the half rigger, some hooker's green and burnt umber. Right, and paint in the tree trunk some branches. So the branches come out of the ivy up to the top. So you paint the skeleton of the tree first. A few small branches coming out of the bottom of the tree. Go back to the fan stippler. That dark colour again, just Take some of those bits of ivy up through there. Now because this is quite a large tree I could use the fan stippler 
where I'm going to use the golden leaf brush to finish it off. White with some pale olive green, so it's a nice bright spring colour, and stipple over the top of the tree. Slightly darker on this side, so some olive green. So the key to doing a spring tree is leaving these gaps so you can actually see the tree underneath. there. And we'll add some bluebells because it's spring so we'll use cobalt blue with permanent rose and some white. Stipple some bluebells with the foliage brush. and finish it off with a little fence, burnt umber and some green. And a style. And there we have a spring tree. The next season we're going to tackle is summer. And again, background's already painted, the sky, some detail into the foreground. We start off with cobalt blue, a touch of hooker's green, and some olive green. And just a little bit of white, a bit more blue. So it's fairly dark, stipple, drag the brush down. So the first colours I used were fairly light and blue, but this is more of a green colour, still with quite a bit of blue. We're then going to put a lighter colour on top. So pale olive green, maybe a touch of yellow, some white to make it a bit brighter. Olive green. Right, try this colour first just to see if it's, that's fine. So it's not quite as light as the, the spring colours. So that lighter colour sits on the top of the darker shape. Let's round that off at the top. So this bit here, I'm going to make that just a little bit darker on the underside of the tree. And this time, when we put the tree trunks in, they're going to be light against the dark background. that and just a <laughs> using a dark color maybe just run that down one side of the tree trunk just to give it some shade wash the brush out now for the for the main tree, some hooker's green for the ivy, still the same colour for the ivy. So that goes up like that. But this time instead of painting the, uh, the branches in first, I'm going to put the shape of the tree in with a dark colour. So more hooker's green and olive green. Touch of ultramarine. Stipple, leave some gaps. Now this background is still a little bit wet, so just bring that down. I think we'll, we'll let that dry off first. 
The background is now dry, so when I put the darker colour on top, it doesn't lift the lighter colour underneath, so just those dark leaves sit nicely on top of the background trees. Now, while that's drying off, we just put a little bit of shade underneath the tree with some hooker's green, a bit of ultramarine, maybe some burnt umber. So we let the tree dry off again because we're going to paint the tree trunk and the branches on top of that dark colour. I'm going to paint in the, the branches and the tree trunk with some burnt umber and some hooker's green, starting off with a dark colour first, and just paint that in through these gaps. The next branch is going to run through this hole here, and here, like that. So you're not going to see all of the branches. Then with a lighter colour, maybe some yellow ochre, Mix it in with some white and that green. And the sunlight's coming through from the uh, left, so just pick out a little bit of detail for the branches. And to finish off this tree, I'm going to use the golden leaf brush. So squeeze the water out of the brush. Again, pick up a light colour. I'm going to start with some white, pale, olive green. And some olive green. Tap the brush, make sure the brush is well and truly opened, and then lightly stipple the sunlit leaves over the top, mostly on the left-hand side where the sunlight is. And just break up the centre bit by softening the branches by stippling like that. There you are. So there's some sunlight on the, um, on the tree. And again, because it's summer, we'll put in a fence but instead of putting bluebells in, we're going to use some poppies. There's the style. Cadmium red. And we just have a few poppies through in that field at the back. And some here in the foreground. There we are, a nice summer tree.